Um, so this is a uh, demo program that we've been working on here at ICS. We've only been working at this for a week. And what it really shows you is the power of Qt Quick and its integration with C++ and how fast that you can get things working. Uh, for example, this demo program is hooked up to this automotive ECU uh, via serial and I have an engine simulator where I can change the sensor values on the engine and it goes through the ECU and gets reflected in the QML. And you'll notice that the gauges move smoothly, they bounce a little bit. Um, and the, the cool part is that all the communications written in C++ exported the QML and this dashboard was actually designed by one of our artists in Photoshop and then exported to QML from Photoshop where each one of the layers is a QML item. I was then able to hook up, say, the needle items uh, to a uh, binding using a mathematical formula to rotate the needles based on the values coming out of the ECU. Um, and because uh, Qt Quick allows the designer to be so involved, we get exactly the designer's vision in the end product. And because we have states and transitions built into the language, um, it makes it very easy to make a simple state machine program that could have a sensor view versus a dashboard view and have smooth transitions in between them. And this is all possible because of Qt Quick. Most of this program was written in two days. One day of the program, programmer's time to write the back end, that's my time, and one day of the artist making the dashboard. The entire project only took a week. Um, so that this engine simulator, we can actually turn the knob for the tachometer uh, value and you'll see it actually change on the gauges inside the app. And the gauges move smoothly. Um, this is actually an open source fuel injection system called Megasquirt and it's meant to be hooked up to say the small block Chevy intake manifold. If I wired this up you'd actually hear the injectors clicking on and off. I'm using the simulator right now so that you can see the values actually change in the demo. Such as changing the RPM changes a lot of values. And this is updating in real time. Yeah, and so this is actually the values in a table changing in real time. And you'll notice as they go in and out of spec, I have code in there to change the color. And all of this is done in a fairly short amount of code. And because all of these lists and flickables are built into the QML language, um, you can make very nice user interfaces very quickly.